Hello, I'm Ed. I'm a director at Faith in Kids. I'm Amy. I'm a resource writer at Faith in Kids. Welcome to the training video for week five of our Who Am I series. It's good news, Ed. I am loved and forgiven. So am I. I hope you've already read through the downloadable resource. Have it handy as we highlight the big ideas and share some top tips we've learned from teaching these lessons already. You're teaching it. We're here to give you a helping hand. Zara is nine. She's polite and well behaved. She works hard at school. She's helpful at home. She's quiet in church and is desperate to please everyone. Her parents hear from others that she's the model child. But when she's done the wrong thing, she bursts into tears. She's so worried about disappointing others that she never stops to realise she's on a constant anxious hamster wheel of trying to be good enough. And she fears she can't keep it up. Imagine Zara is in your session this week. We want her to know that she is loved, not because of the things she does right, because God's love is not earned, but because of her identity. She is his child. Our prayer is that this lesson helps children who fear they're not good enough, whether that's due to the number of things they've done wrong or because they fear they haven't done enough right. They can know real security in being God's loved and forgiven child. We're in Luke 15, the story of the forgiving father and his two sons. The younger son rejects his father's love and heads off in show-stopping rebellion. The older son grits his teeth and works hard at home, earning his place. Neither son understands their true identity. This great story helps us see the relational aspect of sin. The younger brother always wanting, the older brother always working. They're both driven away from the father's love, but he's always watching, ready to welcome them home. This series is about identity. Today we want to understand that a secure identity as loved and forgiven children is on offer. The Father's arms are open to us if we'll just head home from our rebellion and give up on our own efforts. That's why the truth that changes me is our relationships with God and others are broken because of sin. Jesus can mend my friendship with God. We all want our children to make good choices and to do what's right. As Christians, that desire is deeper still. We want them to understand they are sinners who need forgiveness. This lesson is not a guilt trip to try and improve behaviour. This lesson is an identity lesson. We want our children to embrace the identity God the Father offers, not to fear they don't deserve it or striving to earn it. So faith in kids looks like Children who both see their role in the world's brokenness and know they're totally forgiven. We're now going to go through some details in the lesson, so if you haven't already read it, press pause and go and read it now. Go on. Now. OK, they've come back. Welcome to the section that we call... Points, Problems and Distractions. We found that younger children or those new to church find the story of the younger brother really helpful. That's because younger children understand the simplicity of get it wrong, say sorry, get forgiven. So this can be the lesson where children understand the need to come home, to be forgiven, and they want to become a Christian. Amazing! Older children will need your help to understand the older brother's story. It's subtle. It's hard for them to spot how he's got anything wrong. He works hard. He stays home. That sounds good. Take the time and effort, particularly with children who've been around church. Dig a little deeper behind his good behaviour and show he's not interested in his dad. He's only interested in himself. Enjoy the story. Have fun with the brothers. Keep the focus on the father. I think we're ready, Amy, for heart and hands. Oh, not lunch? <laughs> no. <laughs> heart and hands, making the most. This is the moment for the children to do the talking. Get them to talk about the brothers, the father, what they think is going on, who they understand better or feel more like. Hear Jesus tell this story to our children. He understands them. He understands their hearts. He knows what they need. They need to go home and enjoy the father's love. 
The case study picture helps you discuss how their different outward behaviours stem from the same identity heart problem, being about themselves, not the father. The case study picture shows one child outside the classroom kicking off. He fears he's just too bad. The well-behaved child sitting neatly at the classroom. Everything looks perfect, but deep down she worries she's not done enough. Jesus offers both an identity that they can never lose and could never earn. Think about your group. Which child are they more like? How does this lesson offer them both good news? The child who struggles with guilt and shame, who's that in your group? They feel the need to keep asking for God to forgive them, to keep praying the prayer. Help them see that being loved by the Father is an identity. It's who they are, not how often they pray. The good child who keeps trying harder is self-dependent. They feel like they don't need God. Who's that in your group? They need help to understand that God's love can't be earned. It's given freely. That's good news. If they could just stop trying so hard, they might be able to start enjoying the identity that is on offer. Last of all, let's make the connection with parents. This is the lesson where brave leaders could prompt children to go from being lost to found. We can offer them the chance to respond to God. As we wrote this series of seven sessions, we hope that this one would be the opportunity to respond in faith. Share with parents how their children are responding. Did their child pray? Did they have questions? Help parents to continue the conversations. It might be the most exciting conversation they've ever had with their children. Do you think the parents know the kind of heart their child has? I feel like I could put an older brother, younger brother sticker on each member of my family, including myself. How can you help them parent each of their children? To help parents make a start, the feelings question on the take home sheet gives them the chance to see how God's love is different to ours. It's built on identity, not behavior. Show it to them, give them a chance. Enjoy this session. You're sharing great news. Woo! <laughs>